Welcome back. Since passing its near total abortion ban, Texas has poured even more taxpayer dollars into the controversial state program that funds crisis pregnancy centers known as alternatives to abortion. Caitlin Huey Burns and the CBS News investigative team in partnership with ProPublica spent months looking into where that money is going. For years, Democratic State Representative Donna Howard has questioned how alternatives to abortion operates. I don't know of any other program that the state administers that is treated in the same way, not one. A CBS News and ProPublica investigation uncovered a payment model that allows the program's largest contractor, Texas Pregnancy Care Network, to charge the state $14 for handing out a pamphlet as part of its services. Since 2020, the Texas legislature has appropriated more than $340 million to alternatives to abortion, more than any other state has devoted to these programs. Anti-abortion lawmakers we spoke with say they're even more critical to support women after birth in states like Texas, where abortion is no longer an option. But our investigation found little accountability for how that money is being spent, and it could be coming at the expense of other social services for young mothers in need. Also of note, last September, the Alternatives to Abortion program got a new name, Thriving Texas Families.